All right, the in-state, uh, NC State Wolfpack. Excuse me. Dave Doran had a bounce back year last year. Went eight and four after going four and eight the year before. Um, they got the fourth best odds in the conference to win the championship, plus twenty five hundred, which is insane because yeah, Clemson's, Clemson's is ridiculous. Their win total sits at six and a half. Uh, they they're projected to go seven and five by both FBI and SP plus. Uh, the schedule like helped them out a ton last year, and they were able to win eight games even with their quarterback Devin Leary being injured for most of the year. Right? They had a uh, uh, Bailey. Um, I have already forgotten his name. He transferred over to uh, 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 Bailey Hockman. There we go. Transferred over to Middle Tennessee State. Um, Tim Beck improved that offense. Like, he absolutely did when he came in as offense coordinator. And they needed some new life. They needed new blood, and they got it. Uh, the question, really, for them right now, without Hockman there, does, does their quarterback, Devin Leary, stay healthy? Because he hadn't been able to yet. So, if he does, like, he's got all the tools in the world to be successful, and that offense could really use it. The defense improved last year. Uh, you know, there appears to be talent, but they, there's still issues. There's no true weakness, but there's no real strength either. It's just like, they're just there, you know? 19 returning starters should tell me good things, but, I mean, they got a lot of losable games, man. They won some close games last year. Yep. Like, it, there's a ton of coin flips on here, and I... I think that last year might have been a bit of an anomaly where they dodged Clemson and Notre Dame. Uh, you know, this year they got Clemson. They um, they got North Carolina again. You know, they got some tough road games, like a bunch of their coin flip games are on the road. I'm going to go under the six and a half. Like, I, I don't trust them to stay healthy. I don't trust them to win as many of these coin flips as they did last year. Six and a half is a tough number. Part of this is because I think they lose to Mississippi State in week two. Well, yeah, no, I got that as a loss. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over. I think I think they can – I just need to win one coin flip game. Okay. Maybe two um, to get to six, to, to, to get to seven. Okay. Okay. It's tough. I like this team. I actually think – I think they're going to be a surprise team. A surprise team. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. I'm going to go under. I don't know what um, that means. They're just, you know, they might finish eighth in most other conferences, but they could finish second in this conference. Yeah, you're probably right about that. You know? You're probably right. They're not beating out Clemson in this division. We know that much. No. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.